Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today we will talk about how you can build and run C++ programs in Visual Studio Code using CMake and also test them using the Catch library. So CMake is a build system, is an alternative to Bazel, which we have seen in my previous videos. And Catch is also a library for unit testing. And that's also an alternative to GTest, the Google test library for C++. So if you want to use CMake and Catch instead of Bazel and Google Test and still use Visual Studio Code environment, which is very portable and you can use it in multiple platforms, this video is for you and let's get started. In order to create CMake projects, you have to create files such as cmakelist.txt. This is not a tutorial on CMake itself. So instead of going through the details of CMake and how you write a cmakelist.txt file, rather than doing all of that, you can just download this repo from my GitHub which has all the necessary CMake list files for most of your C++ projects, and you can use it as a starter template. Next, you need to make sure CMake is installed. If it's not installed, you can install it from CMake website. It's very easy and straightforward. Depending on your platform, choose what version you want and make sure this is installed. Next step is installing your toolchain. If you are on Mac like me, you can just install Xcode. On Windows, you can just install Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code for compiling your C++ programs. And on Linux, you can either install GCC or Clang. Once this step is done, next step is very easy. You just need to install these three extensions on your Visual Studio Code platform. In particular, the most important one is called CMake Tools. In order to install them, just go to your Visual Studio Code environment, click on this button for extensions, and then click CMake, and then search for CMake. You will, see all the, you will see all the extensions related to CMake. The ones that we want is CMake, CMake Tools, and probably CMake Format to format your CMake files. Once CMake Tools is installed, go ahead and press Shift, Command, and P at the same time and type CMake Configure. Once you click on this, this extension runs CMake and does all the necessary configuration. And then after that, you will see a build folder will be created. Once this is done, you can click on the CMake the new CMake button on your left panel. And then you can see the structure of your project, each target of your project. In this case, I have one target, which is based on this CMake list file. And it has one source file in it. It's called main.cpp, in which I just print a greeting message. Now, if you want to run this, all you need to do is to right click on this target. So right click, and then I have multiple options, build, debug, and run in terminal. Let's run it in terminal and see what happens. So as you can see, the program is running and we printed hello world. Now let's say I want to debug this so I can put breakpoints using Visual Studio Code and then right click on this and click debug. So you can see that my breakpoints are working. I can step each line if I want to and I can see the output on the bottom debug console. For more details on how to debug inside Visual Studio Code and add various types of breakpoints and how to use the watch window and log your local variables and call stack, please feel free to watch my other video on how to debug using Visual Studio Code. This repo also has a folder for testing, for unit testing, which has a which includes catch.hpp, which is open source available. It has a CMake list file to build and run the tests. The test file is very simple. It's basically a test case that tries to test the methods of this simple library. So for the simple example library, I have multiple methods. One of them prints or returns a greeting message. There's a Fibonacci or there's find maximum of several numbers. If you want to test this example methods, you can go to inside test.cpp and then add all the tests that you want. So for example, here I'm testing find max. It's a function that finds a maximum of several numbers. And again, this is not a comprehensive tutorial on catch test, but in short, a test using catch library requires writing a test case macro, the name of the test, and then each test case, each unit test goes in the, uh, inside a section. So use section macro, which is available in catch.hpp. What comes here between the test case and your sections will be executed for each unit test. And then we use require, it's another macro provided by catch.hpp to make sure something, to ensure a Boolean expression holds. Uh, the value of this Boolean expression should evaluate to true. Now, let's say I wrote all of my tests and I want to run it. So again, you go to the panel for CMake, find the target for the test is under source, under test, right click on this and then do run in terminal. Now, once this is built, it takes a few seconds. Once this is built, we should see all these tests are running and we should see the results. So as you can see, all the tests now pass and everything is fine. A very powerful thing is that you can even put breakpoints on this test and instead of running them directly, you can debug them. So you click on this, right click and then debug. 
Now the debugger stops at this point and I can do, I can do my debugging. I can do a step and see what's happening inside each test. If you chose to use Visual Studio Code for your C++ development, I also recommend installing some other extensions, in particular the C++ C++ from Microsoft, which gives you IntelliSense and debugging features. Also, it allows you to do formatting your code. So if, so if I have a code like this, which is not formatted nicely, I can just go to my command palette and type format and the whole code will be formatted nicely. Another useful extension perhaps is the hex editor. So if you just search for hex editor and install this one, this allows you to open every file in binary format. So for example, for every file, either text or binary, I can right click and then do open with and then click on hex editor. So this way I can see the exact hex values of every byte inside this file, which is very useful for debugging and exploring binary files. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have tested this repo both on Mac and Windows. Hopefully it will work for you as well. If there was any problem, please make sure to ask me in the comments. If you like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.